Before we get started with 2D imaging, it's important you assign a patient. Now remember in the last video I saved two images and they're not assigned to a patient and those could be deleted uh, and you don't want to do that if you forgot to enter a patient name and redo that scan. So we'll start by just clicking the patient key and I'm going to go ahead and click new patient right here. Now see it's saving unsaved exam data. What do I want to do? Review the images, delete them, or store them. I'm going to go ahead and store them all and it's saying no ID for clipboard images. Now it's important to have a patient ID because it makes sure that every patient has a unique ID. Down here you can see previous patients and you can reselect those in the future. So once you create a patient you only have to create them once. We're going to go ahead and click auto generate for the patient ID. Your machine may have automatically generated a patient ID for you. This one I've turned it off because some machines will show up with it off. And so I'll show you how to create, have it auto generate a patient ID for you. I think it's a good idea to have it generate the patient ID for you because it's guaranteeing that you will always have a unique patient ID for each patient. So right now I'm just gonna say auto generate. So now we have this patient ID, there's no name assigned to it so we're gonna go ahead and enter a new patient. I'm going to go ahead and click exit. And now we have the patient name and the patient ID up at the top of the screen. So let me show you real quick. I'm going to jump ahead again in the training and go to the system setup screen and show you how to have it automatically generate a patient ID. So we'll click the utility button.